I asante habari zenu Umesema niseme hai Asante it's okay but allow us to be very brief uh, we have uh, a few other places we want to visit before sunset the day is normally very short and the country is uh, is big today we are happy to to be here in Nakuru your town and I've uh, come to see my colleagues here the regional team is based here in Nakuru for Rift Valley most of the time we work with them outside this county because Rift Valley region is 14 counties from Trukana to Kajiado and Namanga area uh, but then we have our county team here in uh, Nakuru which is led by the county commissioner who is on my left uh, Lloyd Ford Kibara the county police commander is here Danny Mr. Danny and the other agencies are here the our county uh, DCI in charge is here our county NIS in charge and so we are fully constituted as a county security and intelligence team I came to visit with them say hello to them and we also had a discussion on how to firm up the security issues here in Nakuru County uh, as you're aware across the country we have an ongoing law enforcement and security operation to get the country or to rid the country of uh, uh, organized criminals who are peddling drugs and selling poisonous alcohol to the people of Kenya. That operation is, uh, is ongoing since uh, 6th of March last year and we are going to destroy the infrastructure that is used to manufacture sell, distribute, and even consume narcotic drugs, illicit, toxic, killer brews, and psychotropic substances. This is purely a law enforcement measure, and we have decided that uh, this time around, we want to treat this matter as it should be treated, and which is that it is an, a national security threat. So we don't want politicians to to, to start uh, getting involved. This is a law enforcement measure and uh, only law enforcement agencies are allowed to deal with this problem. The team here in Akuru has started well and uh, other parts of the country. We were just reviewing the status uh, where we are and uh, this time round we will succeed. Uh, when we tried to do this before, I think we mixed it with so many other issues it didn't succeed. We have external infiltration of this uh, war in the past from politics and other uh, things including people asking us not to destroy businesses we are not destroying any business we are destroying criminals and their infrastructure just that we are not destroying any legitimate business but anybody who is selling poison and selling drugs to the people of Kenya is not in business he's a criminal and is in the same WhatsApp group with terrorists, bandits, and other organized criminals. So that is where we are. We even have internal threats within ourselves. Uh, some of our public officers involved, involved in law enforcement are conflicted. They have conflict of interest. And therefore, we have directed that all law enforcement officers from all agencies and all ranks who have interests in the second generation uh, alcohol industry or related industry must stop, must cease that business. Alternatively, they have to leave uh, the service. They have to leave their job because they can't enforce the law in a matter where they, are, they have business interests. The government has also decided to transfer all officers, especially from the National Police Service who have stayed for more than three years in one station. 42,500 officers will be transferred by Wednesday next week. By all means possible, nobody will be left out. Some of these officers have stayed in one station for too long. They have gotten mixed up with local issues. Some of them have, have no capacity to enforce the law impartially because they, they even have married local girls there and they have opened butcheries and bars and you don't know whether somebody is a police officer or uh, one of the villagers. 
So we are going to uh, effect the transfer policy without fail and without exception. 42,500 officers must move by Wednesday next week. Other than that, we have a challenge here, which we are addressing, I think is 85% uh, addressed. And I want to commend the county team for a good job. Uh, Lloyd Ford and, uh, and Danny, you've done a good job, and the rest of the colleagues. There is a small uh, group of uh, criminals here calling themselves some, some names, some gangs here, who have been terrorizing people, stabbing women and children and men, and uh, spoiling the good reputation of Nakuru town, which is one of the major urban centers of our country. We have gone uh, a great length in destabilizing and suppressing, uh, and, and, and the remaining 10-15%, we have agreed on a strategy. It's just uh, a matter of days and weeks. You'll hear no more of this gang. We will wipe them out because what they are doing is no different from what other organized criminals are doing to the rest of the country. We also have land disputes, uh, especially in certain parts of this county. We have agreed on how they will be resolved amicably and peacefully so that we don't have a situation where either people encroach on people's land and refuse to move, uh, or alternatively, people uh, uh, get access to land through fraudulent title deeds. And therefore, we are putting on notice all public officers, including officers in the Ministry of Land and, and, and officers involved in the survey of land, that those who are aiding land fraud and, and forgery of title deeds and, and so forth are criminals just like any other criminals and we'll be very merciless with them. Other than that, it's good to see you and we wish you well. Have a good evening and God bless you. I'll be back again when I'll have a bit of time, unfortunately. <laughs>